Hey there everyone, it's AJ Van Ritstel and it is time for another video and in today's video I am going to be going through my Inktober sketchbook. <music> Don't worry, it isn't upside down. I did actually do it like this, just purely because of my left-handedness, and it's easier to do it when the spine is on this side rather than this side. So let's begin. This was Inktober Day 1, and I decided my theme for Inktober this year was going to be like my own sort of original characters. This is one of those original characters, and this is Trally Seo. I originally, I was just going to be doing it black and white, but then I felt that I needed to add a bit of colour to it. The eyes are a bit iffy, and you would have seen me do a video, I believe, for this. I will post any videos that I did for each individual one, or a, or a group of them, as a little thing up at the top. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed doing this particular piece. It kind of marked the first one. In the end, I didn't do like this sort of grand portrait type thing because I kind of wanted to conserve my inks and stuff. If I was going to ever do like full colour like this, I would probably do the line work and then go on to doing it on the computer, that sort of colour. I then decided to try a bit of body style and things, and I quite like this sort of style. These are two of my original characters, Jada and Tari, and uh, they are actually twins. And I just quite like the, the the sort of style that I managed to get here with the sort of longish legs and, and things there. So I was quite happy with that. Day three saw me do Maurice and Erica and Piona from my Collision of Worlds series. These are characters in there. I won't go into too much detail about who they are and things. But this also marked this sort of like illustration style where I've got like the sort of white background and then I've kind of got like this sort of pathway or, or, or ground thing for them surrounded by the white. And I think it kind of just makes the character stand out a bit more. I got quite good with doing like the legs and boots and I really quite enjoyed this. And I really loved the colours that I managed to generate using the marker here. What my plan is, I'm going to kind of use these as thumbnails and then like expand on these on a, on a, as, a, as a bigger piece and maybe go into watercolour or, or do or do marker work or even do a bit of digital artwork with those and you will see uh, what I mean when uh, in, in a minute when I talk about some of the other things that I did during Inktober. Here we have the Angel of Death and she is one of my characters from an upcoming novel that I or, or novel, light novel series that I'm planning on writing after the event after Collision of Worlds. Uh, or after I've finished right, finished uh, the Collision of Worlds trilogy. She is, uh, as I say, the Angel of Death, and she kind of wears this sort of sort of dress. I did do a video, a separate video for, for her, and you would have seen the sort of like ink blot happen uh, about there, which I managed to blend in quite well. Normally, if that was sort of thing was to happen, I'd just completely scrap it and start again. But seeing as it was Inktober, I persevered and, and added it on there, which I kind of learned a little bit about, like sort of covering your mistakes. Day five saw me do two of my favourite sort of character combinations in my series, Trally Seo and Rim Gato. Trally Seo was the one that you saw before, and I thought I would have a little bit of a bit of a go. He's the sort of like anchor for Trally Seo, so he would like try and pull her back from being a sort of murdering murderous type demon and i quite like the pose that i managed to get here i think there's quite a bit of dynamic in there and you can tell quite a bit from from their two characteristics as well i've started live streaming now as uh you some of you have probably seen and i kind of try and do this every saturday i was away for last week so i wasn't able to do it this particular uh, like last two Saturdays, but I do hope to start again this coming Saturday and doing a bit of a live stream. This is Lorette, one of my uh, uh, first characters in my story, Collision of Worlds. I am going to be doing another video at some point uh, talking about character development. 
uh, over character creation and Lorette and Maurice, who is Lorette's twin brother, will form part of that sort of uh, video where I talk a bit about their character uh, design and creation and uh, development over the character creation elements. Uh, this is I started doing some scenes in from my story A Collision of Worlds and this is like one of the opening scenes for that for a bit of a sort of like trailer type video that I'm looking at creating. I am probably going to just use this as a thumbnail initially and then move on to doing uh, a, a bigger piece using watercolour. A scene involving Maurice and Lorette and they are uh, Maurice is trying to hold Lorette back. I won't say why he's trying to hold Lorette back, just because of spoilers. This was just a, like I just got uh, started doing a pose, and it wasn't from for a particular character. I quite like the hair that I managed to, to to do here, as well as like the sort of pose and the hands and arms. I'm really happy with how I managed to get the the arms. I think I managed to use line thickness quite well in that. And I also really like the boots. Uh, the boots I've, I find were just quite, quite, quite nice to work on. Here we have another scene from my story, A Collision of Worlds. And the way I worked this was I was going to be able to do it so that this image and this image would be able to like sort of move, move together where th this would be come behind and that would go there. And it would kind of like stop there as a sort of like bit of motionness there. This is kind of a bit different to what I'd done previously in the other illustrations. I kind of wanted to do some sort of like symbol for the final book in my story of A Collision of Worlds. And this is kind of what I came up with. And that's one of the characters. And this is also one of the the characters and I just kind of like this sort of idea of like you could either have it this way or this way uh, but yeah I, I quite like quite like this this one has to be one of my favorite pieces of Inktober I just decided to do a create a character called Era, Era, er, Erata or Erata or something like that and I kind of like did this interesting pose and I just quite like the sort of design of the the, the, the costume and uh, the boots. The boots like took ages to do and I just kind of like how I've managed to get them quite, quite deeply detailed. And the overall shading of the colour of the green as well is, is quite nice, is, is quite nice too. This was another live stream. Uh, I'm not quite happy with how this turned out. I don't think I was feeling particularly well on this day and I kind of just pushed through with it. Uh, I, f I don't particularly like the colours on, on this. I really enjoyed doing this particular piece as well. This is the Angel of Life, which will appear in this series that I've mentioned before. And I kind of just like the way I've managed to get this pose and like the, the angel wings as well. Throughout Inktober, I had a number of like false sort of starts and also just planned sketches. This is for a particular scene in the third and final book of my novel series, A Collision of Worlds. And I was kind of like practicing, doing a bit of a sort of pose and using a bit of foreshortening there as well. As always in my sketchbooks I somehow managed to miss a page and just leave one completely blank and here we get on to the third week of Inktober yes I did start to feel a bit of strain because I was trying to juggle work and and Inktober and doing videos and things like that and in the end I was just kind of like I just need a break and I kind of did something a little bit different and it was only it only took like Probably half an hour to to do but I really like the colors that I managed to get get here like with the grass and just like the simple sort of sort of trees and it's kind of like signalizing me just having a bit of a break and rest a random little character I kind of wanted to follow on with a bit of 
like the sort of same similar sort of style to Lavender Town. I watch her videos and like I kind of like some of the ways that she does some of the things like with the, the big hair and big eyes and stuff. This is Haley Dakai and she is a fire wielding demon. She will appear in some of my series later on in the coming years and I kind of I just love this sort of pose. I did like sort of motion line uh, to get the to get the foot there and I also like the boots. I feel as though this Inktober I've come along with with like boots and and feet and stuff and like the sort of folds and clothes and everything and I just really like how this was just sort of a little quick rough one that I decided to do and I ended up, this this is actually one of my favorite favorite sort of ones so I wanted to go for like a sort of really rough edged type inking and just very simple simple colors and I nicknamed this I titled this the creator and the idea is that this sort of blank space here is meant to be for like all of the potential for for creating this uh, this one is kind of going to be for the back cover of my novel a collision of worlds the tears of siren sacrifice and this is why it's kind of like silhouette and not as not 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 as like detailed as some of the other ones and that's what i'm going to use that for just some more sketches these mark when i finally went away on holiday so this was like on saturday and i was just doing some like random sketches whilst i was waiting at the airport this <laughs> uh is is saturday's inktober piece and it kind of marked the sort of feelings of like dread and like sort of tiredness that i was feeling after staying awake since friday 8 a.m till saturday like nearly 5 5 p.m and even beyond that i didn't go to sleep until at least 12 o'clock saturday so yeah i was kind of like and then i still tried to do inktober and this is what i came out came out with i actually quite like it even though it is even though it's like pure garbage um i just kind of feel it kind of shows what you you still need sleep even if you like to sort of uh try and get like creating and things it was after this piece that i decided that instead of going through inktober uh, whilst I was on holiday and trying to do ink drawings and things because I like to scan them in the sketches in before I go to that stage I decided that I needed to just sketch and make sure that the sketches were, were decent enough and then I'd use those sketches uh, and count that sort of like my inktober sort of piece so this marks the first one of those and these are two characters from my national novel writing month that i am going to be looking at doing this year and they, these are going to be like those two to those characters and and they're sort of like got the animal ears and things and i really quite like this and this moves on to what i was looking at doing for inktober as as pieces uh, for for the actual whole entire thing so i'll just quickly move on to show you these this. so this as you can see is actually an a a5 sketchbook whereas this one's an a4 whereas this one is an a4 sketchbook so i've blown up the images and i'm redrawing redrawing them on the big bigger piece and i'm going to use this uh, to make to make a sort of final illustration for them so these will always remain as sketches in there and as you can see i've got some more of these particular characters and yeah i just really sort of like wanted to make sure that i still did a bit of drawing and stuff but i wasn't putting too much pressure on myself particularly as i was on holiday and then this marks the sort of final sketch that proper sketch that i did i did do some some more in the end uh, some little sketches there and then i moved on to doing to doing these um but i haven't done any more so i've kind of failed inktober this year but in my head i've i i need a bit of a bit of a holiday as well but yeah i hope you enjoyed my little inktober sketch 
book tour and my sort of plans moving forward with Inktober. So until next time, ta Please be sure to check out my social media. I am on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and, and obviously please subscribe to this channel. Also, liking this video and sharing this video will also help me a lot. On Saturdays, as I say, I hope to try and do live streams. I will always let you know maybe a bit before on the day if or not I'm, I'm going to be doing it. And if I do, please come and check me out.